Alright, welcome back. As I said, uh, the commercial button didn't work at first. There's an error, so I'm kind of guessing on if this is the appropriate time to be back. But it's not game footage, so whatever. Am I enjoying, enjoying South Korea? Yeah, I, I really like South Korea. That's why I bothered to stay here for a month in the first place. Um... The only kind of sucky thing is, like, yeah, the casting sometimes is, like, at such odd hours, it really doesn't leave a lot of room for, like, socializing, because usually people socialize late at night. <laughs> so that's kind of been the only bummer. And we are trying to cast every day, so. Ah, uh, well. The first map's going to be on Echo, after some confusing map vetoes. Apparently Dark doesn't know all of the English words for this map pool quite yet. So he was guessing heavy for habitation station. I was like, heavy rain? That's not in the map pool, is it? Dear God. He's on. Here we are in this next best of three. In the bottom right, as the blue zerg, he is dark. In the top left, as the Red Terran, he's Kelzer. And this TVZ should be a good one. So, Kelzer is pretty good, actually. Um, I know that might be like, you know, something that is maybe obvious to some player, or some people watching, or maybe uh, to some people they're like, are you sure? Like, he's really as good as Dark? And I would say no. Not as good as Dark, although he might surprise us, but much better than a lot of people give him credit for, especially in this matchup. He doesn't just rely on PBX Reaper, but occasionally he does. Uh, but I've seen him like take on other really good Zergs for a much longer time than I thought he would. Like going not just in the mid game, of course, or maybe that's a given, but into the late game and really holding his own. So I think this game should be interesting, but I do also believe that Dark will just get the upper hand you know and it's gonna snowball from there this is also on the Korean server if that wasn't obvious so dark does have a bit of an advantage here this Kelzer is still playing I do believe from West Coast like America is not that bad to Korea but it's not you know, in Korea Fubiac Trooper it is seeing a lot of this on almost all of the maps versus Zerg I would say the only thing we haven't seen it on would be like Whirlwind and, hmm, I can't think of another one we haven't seen it on. Maybe it, Habitation Sensation also wouldn't be too great for it, but you think what the new map pool is that it's not that great for Three Racks Reaper. It's not like, oh my god, it's actually, coincidentally enough, like heavy rain, right? Where there's like so many places to jump up on, or that there's a ton of micro potential on the front of the natural. It's actually not any of that. It just seems to be that the way that people have kind of agreed is a good pressure opener against Zerg, who they're very scared of just letting let be, uh, is a 3x Reaper. So you're going to go into second command center, you're going to go into third command center more often than not, and just use your Reapers to maybe get a couple of drones, but more likely force out links or force out an over dedication to the defense. So we actually saw in the IEM qualifiers, a lot of the Zergs, a lot of really good Zergs, Rogue, Hyun, uh, we see Sue, I don't remember, uh, but the point is like, a lot of really good Zerg names just open, respond to the Three Axe Reaper, uh, by just, with speedlings, and it was fine, because again, the Three Axe Reaper's not nearly as abusive on these new maps as they were in the last map pool. So the speedlings would eventually pop, you know, speed would finish, and they'd chase the Reapers off, and they, you know, they still couldn't chase very far, the chance of getting us around on like nine Reapers is not very likely, but it'd still chase them off. If you go for roaches, and so far the only person we've seen go for roaches against this has been Scarlet, uh, it does put you into that awkward position it did in the last map pool, which is you maybe didn't want to go for roaches, at, like, and now you're forced to. Uh, it cuts into what could be a third base if the speedlings just you know get the reapers to back off. You can take a third after that. The roaches put you into a much slower game, basically. Uh, one that's not, you know, unwinnable, like, they don't get this huge benefit because they're supposed to go into roaches, but I do think they get more of a benefit, uh, because they need to go into roaches. 
I've been watching the Reaper Micro for quite some time. I let Ravagers are out, so this should be able to push it back. Now, the one thing you can do when you go for Roach is you can try and, and uh, counterattack. So, the fact that Speed finished and Roaches and Ravagers are here, I think, means that Dark wants to do that all in. So, 14 more lings are on the way. This is very important that Kelzer does not lose his Reapers. Is he, if he's thinking, like, wow, I'm getting him to make so many so many units, I'm just going to totally win this game, and over-dedicates by, like, hopping up this ramp or these levels, for instance, he could be in a lot of trouble. Like, the Reapers are his only defense against a counterattack. So these Lings are going to get some really good damage done. The Queens haven't quite died. They're adding a ton of damage as well. And only three Reapers live. And you have seven Roaches on the way. Four Ravagers. Three Roaches. A lot more Lings can still be made. And Dark is looking very powerful in this counterattack. I really don't think Kelzer should have jumped up that ramp. If you have 12 Reapers on the defense... That's so many grenades. The Lings should never really be able to get up that ramp. And if the Roaches try, they'll eventually just die. But that's going to be it. Dark wins game number one. Defends the 3 Rax Reaper, which I feel at this point is honestly a given. We have yet to see a 3 Rax Reaper actually kill any Zerg straight up in this new map pool. Uh, but then counterattacks and just wins. Because Kelzer, I think, realized probably as he went up into the main base that he made a mistake. So... Everyone to dark. Not too surprising, but I did. I thought I was gonna go into a mid game more than in any early game. That that can happen. Mm. <clears throat> Next map is going to be Whirlwind, I think. Uh, I didn't quite see it before I clicked go. Uh, no, I was entirely wrong. I could have sworn it said Whirlwind, but it's apparently New Kirk Precinct. <laughs> oh, boy. There's the countdown. Let's get into the game. New Kirk Precinct. Swear to God, guys. I'm crazy, apparently. That New Kirk Precinct. Mm, another map that we haven't seen too much of. It really has been all the other maps in this new uh, map pool. That's, uh, what is it? Daybreak, uh, Whirlwind, and Echo. That's right. That have been the, the most chosen, I would say. A new Kirk Precinct talk about after the intros. In the bottom right, up one game. He is the blue Zerg Dark. And in the top... Uh, nope, that's not top. In the bottom left <laughs> has the red tear, and he is Kalazur. Putting his supply depot on the top of his ramp, which, guys, I swear is what I was thinking when I said top. I swear. But let's see if he goes for 3x Reaper again. This is also a map we have not seen 3x Reaper, but I, I would say that they can go for it. You know, Whirlwind, for obvious reasons, you know, usually don't want to go for 3x Reaper on a four-player map, but you can. Just this is unlikely. And then uh, Habitat Sensation, I feel like people still can do it. We just haven't seen enough TVZs on that map, so. Um, reason being, like, there's not so much, like, it's still kind of short. Uh, it's not the biggest map in the world. I wouldn't say it's a short distance between natural to natural, but it's an okay distance natural to natural. And you can try and wall off with two barracks and, uh, actually, two barracks, two barracks. Maybe two supply depots? Maybe two. It just, again, seems to be an opener, though. So, like, analyzing what is good and not good about the three racks opener just seems totally useless. But Kelzer is going to be going for the command center, not more barracks. Dark opened up with a spawning pool first, regardless, probably because he's been dealing with so many 3 Rax Reaper on every single damn map. Uh, but because you open up with the spawning pool doesn't mean you can't do anything with it, it's like you're just completely out of luck. You can try and make two lings, go around, kill the SCV as the Reaper makes its way across the map. The only complication with that 
is that a lot of maps have very direct lines base to base. So if the Reaper goes right here, and the Lings go right to here, then the Reaper will like intercept them, so the Lings have got to take a bit, bit of a detour. They might still get the SCV, though. Which is exactly what they're trying to do. Speed is already on the way, too. And this Reaper is going to look for said Lings. Nicely done by Kelizer to realize how often this has been happening. Because honestly... I think sometimes a Zerg is thinking, okay, I want to stall out the SCV and be an obnoxious little, you know, whatchamacallit. But sometimes it's also just like, well, he might go for an early aggress aggressive build. He didn't, oh well, I guess I'll just send the Lings over anyway. But the thing about the follow-up with speed so quick is that this is the scary thing about the two Lings initially. Kelizer, two Lings, it kills SCV, he runs back home, and he deals with it. Loses a couple seconds of command center, that's not a big deal. If he loses his SCV and then 15, 16 more Lings come in with speed and he can't get back down his ramp, that's when you maybe lose the command center and that's the big deal. But the Lings didn't even get here. They actually stalled out, I guess, a couple extra seconds waiting for maybe a, maybe the Reaper, I don't know. But they don't stop the command center. They just get the SCV. Reaper is going to win the Ling fight on the other side of the map and only six Lings make it over here, which is not enough to do very much. Especially that the Hellions are on the map. This means that the uh, Lings just gonna have less and less chance to really get into that natural. Because they could. They could get in and kill maybe even four SCVs if Kelzer really doesn't pay attention. But with Hellions being so speedy and so effective against Lings, I don't know if that's gonna happen. We even have a Viking on the way. This is a very hard of the swarm opener. And I like, feel kind of comfortable calling it the Polt Viking too, because this is gonna be Stim. This is absolutely what Polt was doing back in the day, back when he was winning every single tournament. Deny that Overlord scouts, or just try and get a supply block on your opponent and go for a fair opener. Ooh, but cool, Kelzer does fake out the stim. That's a trick. It's you know, a very old-fashioned trick, too. And goes for the Banshee instead. Now, what's interesting is Dark gets a Roach Warren, so he might want to go Roaches just in general. Uh, and that's just the way he wants to play, and that's that's fine. He also might have thought this was a combat shield. No, actually no. Because I don't think you can do a combat shield to push if your reactor's been used on a Hellion. Yeah. Because there's a possibility there's an armory somewhere. I think the Roach Warren is because he wants to go Roaches. It's also one of the safest buildings you can get, so whatever you think it might be, you know, a Stim push, combat shield push, Hellbat push, uh, liberators, even Banshee second leg as the Roaches can try and hit. The Roaches are probably the safest choice. It is still going to be Stim. Like, this isn't a swap into Mech that's a big surprise, which would have been cool, but it's not. Uh, more bags are also on the way. Dark will want to scout this and confirm. Funnily enough, he is thinking it's Bio right now and he won't be tricked at all, but I think his secondary scouts are bad. Hellion's not going to be able to do very much, especially because it is Roaches. Banshee's going to be kind of important here. We have more Roaches on the way, and now we have a lot of Lings on the way too, so Dark is just going to all in Kelzer right now. And if the Banshee was able to see that, if she's going to the middle right now and seeing Roaches continuing to rally forward, she just defends. Like, I, I think you should just defend, like, it's questionable if Kelzer chooses to do that or not, but I think you just go home and you defend with the Banshees. The one, uh, one more Banshee is on the way, it's already here. I actually would not mind a third Banshee as it would be very helpful for dealing with a very old-fashioned Roach Wing attack. Now this Banshee is doing more damage than I thought she would be able to. Usually Queens and a Spore Crawler are just too easy of a defense to sacrifice the Banshee and not bring her home, but 6 SCVs isn't bad. Bunker tries to finish up. This Banshee is really trying to do a lot of work, but maybe even with the Banshee defense it's not going to be enough. There's too many Roaches, too many Lings now, almost into the main base. That last second pickup on the Supply Depot. But the natural is just, it's gonna be gone. Wood of Mines are unfortunately gonna go off against really useless units. He's trying to micro them, but now he just loses one. And I think Kelzer has just been all in to death by Dark. That's kinda, it's a little bit surprising, I should say. It's not too surprising. You don't expect a Ling Roach all in, especially nowadays. That sucks, you lose to it. Hopefully you have another game to go back on. Kelzer does not in this situation. But if you open up with the Banshees and you get to see it just coming through the middle of the map, usually there's time to prepare. And 
unfortunately you didn't see it. Way too late. Loses some key units. GG. Derek takes the 2-0 in a very quick fashion. Uh, Rifkin is sleeping. Uh, the next best of three is going to be Dark versus Jim, so a PBZ. I'll get the veto is done. I'll take a quick two minute break. See you guys as soon as the lobby's up.